Okay, I have a riddle for you. How did these fish get into this sump? Okay, let me show you the only path they could have taken, okay? First of all, this is the sump of an aquaponic system. There should be no fish in there. This is the grow bed of the aquaponic system. This is the swirl filter of the aquaponic system, and those two are the fish tanks. So, if those are the fish tanks, okay, let's say some of the fish uh, fingerlings, which we've had before, get sucked up and come into the swirl filter, which we've had before. They may be some in the, there may be some in there right now. Let's see if we can see. Yeah, I'm not seeing any. Okay. Okay, so if they if they happen to get sucked into the swirl filter, which is this here, all right, they happen to get sucked into this barrel here. The only way out of this barrel is through this line right here. And I apologize for all the dead bugs on it. We had some of that sticky stuff on it and to kind of help curtail some of the bugs this summer. And I've got to, yeah get those off they're kind of gross huh uh, but what can you do anyway they did help control the bug population though that's for sure anyway okay so they would have to go through this hose right here this PVC pipe right here go through there okay come into this grow bed they would have to come into this grow bed and somehow somehow by the grace of God work their way down through the rocks into the bottom and somehow get sucked up through the bell siphon which is right over there and then dumped out through that line right ooh, yeah it's a spider web dumped out through that line right there dumped out through that line right there into this tank yeah I, I think it's pretty miraculous that, that, that's just, I just don't understand that. That's hard to believe that they could have done all of that. I mean, this part is ridiculous. The part getting into the swirl filter, yeah, we've gotten them in the swirl filter. But into the grow bed, down to the grow bed, to the bell siphon, and being dumped into this tank, hmm, that's very, very bizarre. Anyway, the water's low now, as you can see, very low. So I am going to attempt to fish these out and get them in a fish tank. We do have some PVC pipes in the bottom of our tank, so there are places for them to hide from the bigger fish. So let's see if we can catch these babies. Okay, because they're so small, I have to use this net that doesn't move very fast through the water. So I'm really hoping that I don't have to work too, too hard to catch these fish. Oh, hey, look, as luck would have it, I got one. Wow. Okay, let's take a look at that. See if I can show you guys what I got here. The white tilapia fingerling. So I was able to catch one. So let's get this one in the tank over here. All right, let's try it again. That was amazing that I was able to even get one. I mean, these things are really moving. Oh, and now that the water is being dispersed from the uh, <clears throat> from the grow beds. Hmm, I got one. I don't want to jump out, but there it is. So, I'll show you where I'm putting them. Come with me. We're here. Sky, get out of there. Skywalker. Really? Always up to something. Okay, so we're gonna dump him up in here. Oops. Put him in here this time. This is the one that's easier to open. <laughs> I'm trying to get the, the net to flip open. There he goes. I don't know if you saw it or not. I cannot see in there. The tank is quite high, as you can see. It sits up on blocks, and I am putting him in through the top right there. Okay, let's go see if we can get some more. The trick to catching him is getting him in the corner. The water's gotten deeper. Might have to let some out. Okay, I've unplugged the pump. Now we're just draining some water out. Um, hopefully the fish will not go down the drain. 
There's no life down that way, people. Trust me. Okay, y'all, as much as I would love to have waited for that to drain into the garden, I did not because it was just taking too long in that, that size line. So I'm just letting it run out here so I can get in here and get these fish out. From what I can count, there's three left in here. And there's one that stays right over in the corner, right over there. All right, it's pretty low, and they're still pretty fast. I think I got that one. See if I can get two more of these too long here. Take them all one time. Aha! Look at me. Got all three of them. Had to drain out all the water, but we got them. So we'll take them over to the other tank for a nice big area to swim in. No more of this tiny stuff. We got a big tank for you. Hard to do this with the camera and the net. I'm not sure what you're seeing. I have no idea. Just trying to flip them out of the net. There they go. All right, now we can fill the sump back up and get the system started again with nice, fresh water. Thanks for stopping by Arizona Homestead today. I want to remind each and every one of you that today is day four of Croctoberfest Extravaganza 2021. So be sure and stop by on the YouTuber that is putting out their recipe today and catch up on the other ones if you've missed out. We want to make sure that we support each and every channel this month of October and also get some delicious recipes. Well, as always, my friends, be happy, be well, and be blessed. Until next time. Bye-bye.